Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today, and his name is Paul Easton, and he has some amazing information, and he has great stories to tell, and he's going to help us a lot in a lot of different areas. So before we begin, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, DMA World. DMA World is sponsoring this podcast today, and they help the little businesses grow into big businesses. They don't want you to be scammed by those big marketing companies companies and they what they do is they help the little people and they help consult and influence and and help people with digital marketing so they can grow and become the business and reach their potentials that they they've always wanted to reach at a cost costly price. So right now I'd like to go to Paul Easton and I'm very excited to have him on the show. And um Paul, can you tell us a little about yourself and what you do? Sure. So uh, thanks for having me, Stacey, by the way. So I've got a background in, in digital marketing for my, coming up 20 years, believe it or not, which makes me feel old. But anyway, um, uh, a long way back, I, I I came across a situation and I'm a big passion of digital marketing, which you're giving people back. So I started an FCO and all those other different things. But I always felt uh, I always felt that I was working at agencies and I do certain work and then the client to move on. It sort of could be a little bit hollow because they've they've got results and they've moved on. So I've always had passion for doing something more, right? Yes. And, uh, and so coming across a story a few years back, so we're going back probably five or six, maybe more years than that now. So I came across this family that they had a five-year-old son, a normal healthy, healthy boy. Um, and they saw him swinging on, you know, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, you know, a, so where you sit on a swing. What do you call it in the US? The the the, the tire? Ah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, the tire swing, that type of thing. You know? And they noticed his um, face was drooping on one side and had never had any other health problems or anything going on. And they said, okay, well, this is not right. So they they took him off to the doctor and they found out that day that he had an inoperable brain tumor, right? Oh, wow. Imagine the family being rocked by that, the yes. whole family. And so they all had to sort of adjust their lives um, to what they could do to, to help this. Uh, mm -hmm. There was no cure, but the simple fact is they were doing whatever they could as you would. Right. Right. And, when I met them, they found a specialist in Mexico and they, they talked to other families that had been through different things going on. They were actually in Canada, to remind me. And so what they'd done is they were traveling down to Mexico. Now, that wasn't any type of cure, but it was something that was going to extend life and, and had been proven to actually hold the tumor from growing. Right. So they were traveling down to Mexico to do this uh, treatment and backwards and forwards. It was costing something like $25,000 each time they they were doing it. Wow. Yeah. So you can imagine the amount of stress and strain. This is just a normal normal family. Yeah. And so when I met them, I, I talked to the father and he just told me, and this is the part that really sort of rocked me, that they had to sell their house to fund this travel down to them. And I'm going, wow, that's and that's just such a challenge that not many people see. Yeah. Um, and so my simple concept was, well, hang on a minute, I'll, I'll interview you. Let's get the story out there further. Let's get you more publicity. Let's get you more help and spread the story wider so that, you know, you might end up on TV. You might end up with other support that will help you do this. Right. And I did I did a video interview just like this, and I told his story and the family story, what was going on. And I and I spread that out to the influence that I had there. Now, I didn't raise a lot of money for him, which really disappointed me a little bit because I didn't right. do enough. I didn't feel I could do enough. Um, so what happened from there is I sort of put it on the back burner. I thought I had the idea for this. Um, yeah. Lemon Angels was always an idea. It's a lemon is the problem. And the angels are the other people around the world that can share the story, tell them more about it. Yeah. I didn't have the... The support. Um, so I put it on the back burner for a while. Life got in the way, um, and I moved on with stuff. I was jumping from agency to agency. I was working on my career. I was I was busy, and I put it put it aside. Now, uh, 
now fast forward a little bit to this year. I've been I've had a, a client who gone down the path of he'd gone through prostate cancer. He's what a survivor of prostate cancer. Wonderful guy, Stacey. You'd love him. He was in his 80s, but he, he acted like a business owner in his 30s. He's always wanting new yeah. ideas. He's always doing different things. Fantastic guy. Actually went and stayed at his place. He lives down on the beach. And we've done a lot of work for five years. And he developed products for Amazon for particularly what happened after he'd um, gone through the prostate uh, cancer and come yeah. out the other side. Um, amazing guy. And then uh, sorry, prostate cancer came back and, and took his life. Oh, and um, he was a hell of a nice guy. He was just, a, I, I just described him as a scholar and a gentleman. Um, and so that sort of rocked me into, okay, I've had this idea, I've done it once, and why haven't I taken this bad enough to help people that are going through different things? Right. And so that rocked me once. So that was a little first little message. And then the second one, I don't know, you know if the world comes together in unusual ways, was I had a family member then diagnosed with cancer as well. And I went, politely put, life's too bloody short. Yeah. So I've had this passion, and would I would I feel disappointed if I didn't – step forward and take action. Was I ready? No. Did I have the resources? Not really. Did I have the time? No, I wasn't going to allow any sort of limitations that I put on myself. Right. So I'm bootstrapping Lemon Angels, putting my own time in, putting my own money in, and stretching out as far as I can. Now, recently in my country, we've had a couple of events. So my my daughter has um, something called EDS. Now EDS is a, um, uh, what's the best way to describe it? It's a connective tissue disorder. It, it's mm -hmm. not, uh, generally it's not life-threatening, but it can be. My daughter right. has a mild version of it, but there are families in New Zealand of which it doesn't, it doesn't fit in the normal health system, right? The health system yeah. has got separate boxes as you fit in. And I know you're in this space as well. If you right. don't fit in a, in a certain box, you don't get the support or you don't get it on, on how to do it. Yeah. Um, and families here, particularly, and this is happening all over the world too, that because they don't fit in a particular box, they try and put them in the, in the mental health space, a, a, as in you've got mental health problems. But that's not. And um, it's a physical disorder of which... Uh, the muscles form not just a normal like bones muscles the rest of it but also stomach muscles everything else has weaknesses right and those weaknesses allow uh create eating problems and so what's been happening in new zealand particularly is there uh our health system is free but it mm -hmm. also is not flexible um right. so uh, these families have been finding a a guy in germany and he's been having amazing results with families that have gone over. And these people are going over, they're having to eat for the feeding tube. They're sometimes they're, they're in a wheelchair. They come over and they come back as normal people. Right. And I've I've seen some some of these people put up uh you know fundraising campaigns for this trip. Because anything they've got to go over there for a month and right. they spend anything up to a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Because they've got to go over because they're normally their children that are going over these operations. So they go over and um stay for a month and they they come out with almost no um almost no symptoms. They are walking, they're eating, wow. they're living a normal life like most kids should. Yeah. And um this really popped up right on the same time as everything else was happening. And I says, I can support this. So I've done it with a couple of families already, and I've just got one underway who's uh, do an interview with them and I share them out, but it's really sharing it out to as getting reach out to as many people. So that's where lemon, the lemon angels came from. Lemon is, this, you know, like the car that's a bad buy and the angel right. is anybody who supports or help. Now supporting can be money. Supporting can be just sharing the story. How many people yeah. can I share the story out to, to get more publicity, to get more traction? Right. Yeah, and it's, so a couple of ideas I had when I first set this up, I thought, could I set this up as a charity? And I mm -hmm. thought, yeah, I could, but I also know there's a there's a lot of, lot to go on to be certified as a charity, and everything goes with it. Yeah. So I set it up as a business because the way I the way I'm viewing this is it's a matter of giving and supporting first, supporting these families first, and then looking for how it could become a business later. I right. want to build this and be doing it. You no. Know, 
I know it's going to take money. I know it's going to take investment to be doing this all over the world for different countries. And then someone will come along and have sponsorship or you know, some bigger company like GoFundMe, for example, or Facebook says, hey, we want to be associated with doing good in the world. We'll yeah. come in and buy you. And then I'd carry on and still do the same thing. This is not, you know, this is not a job for me. This is right. a, a passion. Yeah. And I'm putting in my own resources, my own time now, so that it becomes big enough that people want to buy it and, and companies want to be associated with it to build their brand out to fit with them. And that's where I want to go. So I've set a goal of a hundred families raising ten thousand dollars each. That's a million dollars. So that's my first sort of goal to get pushing forward. And right. it's as simple as doing an interview with the family. They tell their story. We share it out as much as we can. And the idea is, and Stacey, I know you and I were talking about this, um, with all the AI going on, people still trust the face-to-face. -face. You know, like yeah. this interview, you can't make these up. It's it's all true. So how can we tell a story better? How can we spread it better? How can we make use of social media to spread it out to more people, to influence what's going on. Who knows who it'll get to? Who knows how they might end up with TV coverage and that helps them solve their problems. Yeah. All those type of things is exactly the direction I'm coming from. Um, so look, look I've, I've rambled on, but it's um, no. it, it's a driving force for me where yeah. you know, I'm, maybe it's a little bit self-serving. I'll be honest, I feel good when I help others. I feel good when I make a difference. And I hope other people you know, feel the same way and get involved so, um, to push it out, push your stories out. And so that's going to be my plan for the next, you know, I, I've got eyes wide open. This is going to take a lot of work, you know, three, four, five years at least. But yeah. it's something that if I didn't do it, I would have, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of uh, self-development myself. If it's something if I didn't do, I'd look back when I was 18 and I'd be disappointed that I didn't take the action. And yeah, that was the point, right? Um, would I just feel disappointed if I didn't do it, regardless how far it goes? I would. So I'll do it anyway, regardless whether I was ready, regardless whether it, I made time and I'm making time to put it together. So, yeah, that's my driving force for now and for the, the foreseeable future, for sure. So, yeah, that's what drives me forward every day and what, that, what gets me up at 6 a.m., 6.20 now for my interview with you, Stacey. is like um, this is what I enjoy doing and I feel like I should – this is my make a difference in the world. And that's my tagline is, is Lemon Angels make a difference, change the world, even if it's one family at a time. Um, and, and I can visualize having, you know – multiple countries doing multiple interviews in in different languages and and all supporting those people in those countries because you know every country's got those challenges every family's got those challenges yeah and hopefully i can do my bit to make a difference in the world so i so, think it's a great idea yeah i think it is a lot of people have said that i just don't i've just decided to put all the action behind it i think nothing happens without action nothing happens with stepping out um and that's where i see is is the point that i'm going to take that what i learned from digital marketing and apply it i actually started off something strange enough dog clothes but anyway it's another story <laughs> but i've always been passionate about how look i know social media gets a bad rap for people for some things, but why can't we use it for good? Why can't we get as much and you know, positive and spread things out there for good in the world? And this is the way I see, you know, sharing a story and, and telling those stories out can do that. So, yeah, so that's that's me in a box. That's what drives me forward, uh, which gets me up in the morning. So I think my from an agency background, yes, I love, love that side of it, but this is more and... Yeah, I want to be more and, and grow more. So, like, if people want to find out more about what I do, it's lemonangels.com or lemonangelsnz on across my uh, social. Um, and come and follow me. Come and see the, the interviews that I've done uh, with the families that I've done already and follow me in and support out uh, these families and interviews as I do it. I, I have people sign up and then I spread the story out by email as well and send them back to the, the, the social interviews. But it's all done in video most of the time like this. And these families are hurting. So it's 
it's quite a big deal for them to you know tell their story out yeah. almost they're in pain uh, they're, they're probably families that have never asked so much for help before and right. I just get on the phone and get on the um, on zoom and let them tell their story and, and sometimes it's painful and, and hard for them but you know hats off to them doing whatever they can for the family we we would all do that um so but um yeah that's that's what drives me forward you know, i don't i think that's that's pretty much everything um and i just feel i guess i feel it's me being over over 50 and had a few life experiences that this is where i've ended up and this is where i need to be so that's it in a box <laughs> I think sometimes, you know, we go through trauma in life and we go through our obstacles and, you know, it takes a lot of resilience, I think, to actually, you know, um, instead of getting stuck in life or falling down or, you know, getting into depression and or frustration or anger, which many people do, you took a, a situation that was challenging for yourself and you did something about it. So I commend you on that. And then you, you, you know, we, when you were able to help yourself and your family, you figured out a way to help others. And, you know, in our society, it is very hard to get help when you need it. You know, there, you know, uh, there is a, a lot of organizations out there, but, you know, a lot of times people don't qualify for a lot of these organizations and the funding that they, they give. And so then when, where do you go? Because medical bills and, and, and a lot of things go into the thousands and ten thousands of dollars and, and most people don't have that money to share so you know you get you get caught in a battle even getting the right medications and and getting the right testing you know is very difficult when you don't have either the proper insurance or the, you know enough of money because a lot of people don't even have money to buy insurance you know they struggle and they have minimal insurance and those things only you know cover minimal things and you know is, and it's it's very hard too when you're going through triumph, you know, and you're going through these battles. It, it not only um, you know financially, but emotionally, it, it it it's destroyed and for the families, and you know they need all the help and support they get. And I think even learn how to cope with these issues is a big deal. Getting the right you know therapy or getting the right counseling or or coaching to help the entire family on, on how to cope, you know, how to live with the obstacles that they're dealing with in their life. And um, you know, I think you're, you're doing a great thing, you know, because you know, these stories need to be told and people have to realize that there are families out there that are, that need help and are yearning for others to, to step in. And there are a lot of people out there that will come into the wood, you know, from outside the woodwork to help people like the stories you were telling, because, you know, there is a lot of compassion in the world. There is a lot of, of, of love and, and people will come out, you know, and, and help others if they hear the stories. Now, are you on social media? Can they find you on social media too? Yeah, uh, Lemon Angels NZ most of the time, or NZ one. So yeah, it's I'm on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and also on the YouTube channel. So I put up all the interviews that I do straight up onto YouTube as well, full interviews. I actually did one last week on which is slightly different. Uh, her name was Skinderella, and that's the name she gave herself. And uh, she was she gone through topical steroid withdrawal. I have to get this right, and her her whole face and body had peeled completely because of this withdrawal from taking an over-the-counter medication uh, oh. for years. So, um, and she was a you know, wonderfully strong person, to be honest, and she was raising money to go to Thailand for a cold compress therapy. Um, yeah, but she embraced it. She was, it was really, she was an amazing interview. Um, very strong woman who, had accepted what was going on and was doing something about it and was, you know, facing it head on. Um, and, you know, I get to meet, that's the bonus. I get to meet with uh, amazing people um, and, and just talk to them. And they may be in this country, they may be in other countries, um, but it doesn't really matter. It's it's to the ability to tell a story. And if that, if we can at least use the internet for doing that type of thing, it, you know, let's make the place, the world a better place. Um, yeah at least a little bit but yeah that's yeah lemon angels is the main site and um i asked people to sign up and tell and so i could tell a full story of what i'm doing how i formed it the background all those type of thing is all there when people and then i i send an email out at most once a week and that is normally something i've learned 
during the week. Uh, I share all the current story which is going on, uh, current um, which I normally put out on Facebook as well. And then I, I'm taking all my you know, everything I learned in, in online marketing and, and using that to the, my benefit of running this. So, you know, you're right. All the trials and tribulations and things that you learn along the way, they come to a point where you can use it and benefit others. That's at least that's the way I'm taking it. Yes. So I think that's yeah. I think that's great. I, I did the, the last 25 years, I've taken, you know, obstacles in my life and I turned it around for myself and then I used it as a power source to help others. And I think that's, you know, that's excellent that you're doing that. And I can hear the compassion in your voice and, and it makes a difference. Now, is there a sign up form that they can go on if people want to share their story and they need help? There is there like a page that they go to on your website that they can sign up or they, they just contact you on your contact information? No, it's straight on the on the homepage of the website. So it's uh, like focusing on the capture. Or you can send a Paul uh, email at paul at lemonangels.com if you want to reach out to me, especially if someone has a social media presence uh, that they want to work with, partner with, let's talk. So uh, I've got compelling stories which which the audience needs to hear. And if I could share it with other people and we can work together, I'm all for working together. Oh, that's wonderful. That This is great. This is great. I commend you. And, you know, everybody, it's it's lemonangels.com. And if you want to share your story, if you need help, or if you need some type of, you know, you know, some type of help that you're looking for, you want to get the story out, either it's something that you went through and you want to help others, or if you're looking to actually get help from others, you know, please go to lemonangels.com. This is an amazing website. And it's also a very healing website because when, it helps people realize that they're not alone. And in this society, a lot of times we go through things and we're afraid to share it with others. We're afraid of what others are going to think. We're afraid, you know, of a lot of things. And, you know, sometimes by sharing your story, you're actually helping to heal others. And so not only are you sharing and helping, you know, yourself by other people helping you, but you're actually helping others because when they hear these stories and they can resonate with them, or they could take just a piece of the story out and they, they, they can relate to it. There is a healing process that goes on in our bodies and in our mind, and it could actually help more lives than, than you realize. So, you know, this is an amazing website. I, I truly back this website. I think it's great. And it, again, it's lemonangels.com. Now, before we go, is there anything that you, any advice you'd like to give people or any tips or anything that you'd like to share that you feel is important for others, you know, who are out there that may be afraid or maybe are hurting so much inside that they don't want to, they do want to share the story, but they're not really sure if they're able to, would you have any type of words of encouragement of the benefits of doing this and, and sharing their stories of what they could receive by actually contacting contacting you and actually, you know, sharing their story on lemonangels.com. Yeah, it's simply a matter of your, it's telling your story. And when I do the interviews, I do it just like this. We are talking what's going on in your life. And then it's up to me to prompt the story. So when we have a story, I just I allow them to tell a story. And I'm the one who says, hey, look, everyone else, while you're watching this, it'd be great to share this out. Please, you know, go to the donation page. Your donation page is here. That's my part of any of the process it's just you're there to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to tell your story uh, i think a lot of people have pride that sometimes they don't want to ask for help and they won't be they're just telling the story and it's up for me to ask the help from others right that's excellent that's excellent you know, this is this has been wonderful. Um, I'm going to make sure that I get this 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 information out as much as I can, and I will share this information and everything. All this, all Paul's information about his website will be in the description. So if you want to go into the description bar, you'll find out his website, his name, his contact information, and where you can go to contact Paul and his website, LemonAngels.com. Paul, this has been amazing. Thank you so much. And I appreciate everything that you're doing. And, you know, it, the, the greatest gift is, is the gift of giving. And you certainly are given a lot, you know, and I, I commend you on that. And I, I think what you're doing is, is fantastic. Thank you so much for investing your time, your effort and your love to helping others. I appreciate you. And I think there should be more people like you. 
Thank, thank you for having me, Stacey. It's, it's a, I call it, I'm talking about it as a serving. I think it's serving serving the world. That's how it feels to me anyway. Yes, it definitely is. And I commend you for that. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you.